My guys, I have to be quick because I've run out of uh, <laughs> I've run out of video twice. I've run out of space on my phone. This is the back of a hard drive. Um, I think they're AC motors, um, which drive the the platters around. So if we stick this back on and flip it over, and I'll quickly power it on. And do you know what? Last video I did, my power supply has actually started working properly. Okay, a bit dark. More light, more light. Okay, I think you can see enough there. So if I bring in a battery, so I've got PSU. I have been charging the battery on and off because I keep running out of video because I keep talking too much. So much unlike me. And this wants to go onto the run. And there should be a charge. Here we go. And Bedini circuit, standard old setup. My standard setup. So there's the LED that I'm tapping off the back. This is a four pole rotor with the mags sandwiched in between two platters on the top of that hard drive motor um, and that's a microwave primary and it was taking a little bit to spin it up so got, that was just the chassis of the hard drive that I took it out of blimey one handed we're there okay I'm not taking my chances what I have been doing is this has been having to start up on full power and last video Oh no, it's not, it's doing it again. Last video, it just started coming on. Okay, full power, unplugged. Okay, down to about, I did get it to fire on nine volts, because that's what I was charging at last night. So let's see if we can do that and not run out of film this time. Film, you know what I mean. Okay, and I want to get you to see the LED. Here we go. This is hard. First go, I believe that is. Okay, LED, once it gets up some speed. Oh no, we've lost her. Let's give her some more, because I haven't got a lot. I think I've only got about a minute left. Come on, Gil. Don't mess around. Okay, if this cuts off, then cheers, everyone. <laughs> cool, eh? Batches climbing. And that tapping is, uh, I think, because I've got the coil so close. Yeah, it's charging. Some finding some efficiency. Okay, and it was charging pretty good last night. Right, so if I power it off, the LED dies, and if I power it back on, and I'll see an LED like slowly light up. I'm not sure why I'm fascinated by that, but... And there you go. Okay, we've seen a million LEDs before, haven't we? But they're bright little suckers. They're like uh, 10 mil ones. Oh, well, time is short. I'm going to run out of video. And that is what I was up to yesterday. I took the Sladini apart. Oh, let's quickly get some other things in. Uh, okay. Uh, pancake cool winder. Um, I was mucking around with and you know what? I started using the copper brake pipe and uh, it worked out it was really easy to work with so I didn't really use it that often but you can see there is one in there hole through the back uh, to run out your out or return whichever one you call it and uh, I did wind up it's really going to be really hard to see a new coil which I'm tinkering around with which is 4,500 turns um, and, and runs at like 1500 
K, <coughs> K, fifteen hundred K. Um, and yeah, just toys, more toys I'm messing around with. I've got all sorts of things going on here. Sladini's down here. This is going to run out. Let's see if we can get Sladini in. Sladini is now just a uh, Bedini. And uh, they're incredibly fast. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't touch those two wires. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit dark. I'm trying to get loads of things in, aren't I? But yeah, oh, and uh, my girls bought me a pillow drawer for Christmas, so you can tell why I've been out here working, and, and I've got the excuse of being out here because I've got a new toy. Um, <laughs> take care, guys. Always good fun. Oh, there's the uh, uh, the two uh, Slayer circuits that got extracted from the uh, Sladini. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. Have a good rest of your day. See you soon.